Tell us about Rocks of Unity. How does it work? Rocks of Unity is an initiative that I started um, where I bring people together. We discuss our differences instead of hiding them. We bring them out and we discuss our differences and then we make an art installation where we decorate our differences on rocks and then they're visually in a community center. For what made you decide to start this organization? Um, I was very close with a woman by the name of Susan and she, I look up to her as a mentor figure and she unexpectedly um, passed away when I was 12 years old and she was all about going into different communities and working with coexistence of communities who may have not have the chance to work together naturally. And I wanted to carry on her legacy and go into different communities that she could not have obviously been to because she passed away. And I just noticed that there's been a lot of intolerance in the world because of our differences. So I wanted to be able to mesh the two together and hopefully make her proud and do something that will change the world forever. Well, I think it's a great idea. Now, Thank you. did some of the rocks stand out to you over the time you've done this? Yes, so one student, and I love this story. This is a story that I tell all the time. One little boy came to me at the first school that I, I started at, and he came to me with a $100 bill on his rock. I was like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> like what does this have to do with anything? And he said, well, I can decorate it based on my values, right? And I was like, yeah. And he said, well, I understand that I have a lot of toys, but there are also kids who don't have what I have. So if I meet kids that are like that, I would give them my rock because it's worth $100, and they can buy toys that they want to buy so that they're happy. And there's another story where a girl, I was doing something very similar in a classroom, and on her rock, she wrote, um, I may be bigger, but it doesn't mean I matter any less. Oh, that's and beautiful. what happened is she was always bullied because she was overweight and she never was able to tell people exactly how she was feeling. But when we came together and we discussed our differences, Rocks of Unity was finally her voice. Boy, that's terrific. Isn't that a great story? I love hearing that. Now, we have a little surprise for you. I want you to take a look at this. Hi, my name is Eleanor Martins. I'm Jack. My name is Jonah. I'm Emily. What Rocks of Unity taught me is that differences don't divide us, they unite us. But even though that we are different, we put all of our differences together to give us strength and confidence. What kindness means to me is treat others how you want to be treated. Thank you, Alexa, for loving me and caring for me. And I also thank you for being a very, very good friend. Thank you, Alexa, for taking good care of me. I love you, Alexa. Thank you so much, Alexa, because you've inspired me, and I think you've inspired so many other people. Do we have a, you want a Kleenex? No, I'm okay. I need to try not to do it. What if I made a rock? Would you put, would I be able to go up against those big time stars? I would love for you to do a rock. You, you put me in the garden? Yeah, I would love Well, I have a little something for you. This is my rock for you. I'm not an artist. I don't care. It doesn't matter. But, but this, this is musical notes because that's what I do. I love music oh my and music goodness. makes people happy and you make people happy with the rock. So whatever you want to do with that, if you sell it on eBay, just give me a cut. Um, <laughs> but this is my rock for you and everyone in the audience made a rock for you too. Can you show, every, can you show your rocks? You see what you did? That's pretty impressive, right? Oh my God. Alexa, thank you for being here.